going on guys so I just wanted to discuss with you EA's tweet from last week and did they drop the ball um, they announced last week that they will not be doing anything with EA Star Wars or anything with the Star Wars IP for the rest of the year and are basically waiting till summer 2022 to even announce anything so I just wanted to take that uh, you know topic discuss it with you guys share my thoughts this is literally just like I said I always um, do like a one take, so we're just gonna. I'm literally just gonna go off the dome and tell you my thoughts on the situation because I do think it's not looking so good for you know the EA Star Wars IP alone and just the Star Wars gaming community, um, you know, as a whole. So if you guys do enjoy the video, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Uh, consider subscribing if you guys are new to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you guys never miss an upload. As always, if you guys are new subscribers, make sure to just let us know down in the comments so we can welcome you to the community properly. Now, let's get into this. So with the tweet, it said, from EA Star Wars, like the verified Twitter, and I'm gonna you know, look to the side so I can read this for you guys, but it says, we won't be showing any new Star Wars games at EA Play Live on July 22nd, dot, dot, dot. But all of us look forward to celebrating with you next year when we share our vision for a galaxy far, far away. So, basically saying from a year from now, we'll be next summer, maybe next EA Play Live in 2022. But is a tweet enough to just keep people excited? They announced Star Wars Hunters and then that was about it. No really big announcements on it. The Lego... St Star Wars Skywalker Saga has been pushed back, I think, three times now with still no word of a release date. Um, Battlefront 2 has now been, you know, they in 2020, they stopped updating the game in April. So Jedi Fallen Order just got a PS5 update, but I mean, how many times can you play through it? And it's just, you know, looking at this, I feel bad. Like, it sucks. You know, people love Star Wars games. You know, there's a whole community for it. You have big content creators who, you know, are itching to make content. And I do, speaking of content creators, want to give a shout out to uh, our buddies Split Screen and Frag Out Sentry. They're still killing the content game. I give them props for it. Um, you know, they're still trying to bring you some sort of Star Wars gaming content with and working with what they have. So, you know, if you need new creators to check out, definitely go check them out. You know, like I said, huge props for that. Um, they're just, you know, staying creative with the whole thing and remaining positive. Um, there is even bigger creators who are acting a little bit more childish about these situations. So I give them hella props for that. So shout out to them. I'll also put their, uh, links for their channels in the description below. So you guys can just go and access it pretty easy. But yeah, so with the Star Wars gaming news, like, what do you guys, like, do you think playing Battlefront for a whole nother year with no news is just going to hold that players? Because what was weird to me was when they released Battlefront for free on the Epic Games Store, uh, you know, dropped back in, like, February, and they had this big influx of players, but you kind of get everything all at once, you know, with buying Battlefront 2 now, so is that going to be enough to kind of hold people over for a whole nother summer? And with what's coming out, is that even enough to hold people over? Because you have a Lego game, which it's only going to appeal to a certain crowd unless you're just really into Star Wars games. And then Hunters is a Nintendo Switch and mobile game. And so, again, it's only going to appeal to a certain crowd unless you're going to go out and buy a Switch or start playing it on your phone like the Galaxy of Heroes game. But I feel like that can only be so fun for so long. It's not a big AAA title. And this is like, it's just crazy to me EA is, is not putting anything out. Because Star Wars is the biggest IP probably in the world, you know, content-wise, between movies, books, fig like action figures, comic books, the whole, you know, everything is freaking Star Wars. I have three Mandalorian posters in my gaming room right now. So to me, it's like, it's very weird that they're not doing that. And let alone, they're not announcing anything about the new Mass Effect or Dragon Age 4 either, but that, I mean, you can go find another RPG or something like Mass Effect, you know, more sci-fi RPG out there, but, like, something with Star Wars and the Battlefront community, like, what is out there for those... The, Battlefront 2 seems to be the main hub for the Star Wars gaming community, um, just because large-scale warfare, you know, very communable, but it, it just doesn't make sense to me, like, give, like a whole nother year like that's a long time to like not really have anything for anyone and what do we even have to look forward to for ea play live this year anyway like besides you know your standard madden fifa battlefront 2042 but that's already been announced and we've already seen a pretty good chunk of things um so i really do think ea is fumbling the bag with this one 
And what's funny too, okay, so EA, I think, I, and this, I'm reading off my phone because I saw this tweet and I, I knew I was going to make this video, so I retweeted this because it's really funny. It was an article and this came out in June 23rd, 2020, so last year, literally this time. It said, the, the title was EA doubling down on Star Wars games after continued success. And it says, publisher EA decides to recommit itself to Star Wars license as it turns out players actually do like games set in the Star Wars universe. Like, duh. Like, so, and all they've done since this tweet is they announced, or they released Squadrons, which, again, everything they're doing is like it appeals to a small mass of players. They're not doing something that even the not normal Star Wars community gamer can jump into, like Battlefront or Jedi Fallen Order. And it's just, it's funny, it's the account that tweeted this, or like, shared this post is called poorly aged things so i thought i'm not really funny wanted to throw that in there for this video because you know technically this is really poorly aged seeing that they doubled down on the games um so let me know what you guys think down below like this is literally just a quick video i wanted to kind of just ramble tell you about my thoughts on this whole situation because it does suck um you know for those players i don't even have any star wars games installed anymore at this point i've played through jedi fallen order three times Battlefront was just kind of taking up too much space, and I'm not playing Squadrons. I'm not a flight sim guy, so, you know, it's really disappointing. I think even if getting Jedi Fallen Order an expansion, kind of like what Ghost of Tsushima is doing, with just a little 20-hour expansion, like, something of that nature would be great. Even, a, you know, an extra bonus two planets for $20. That was something, but that's not happening. So, until then, I guess we wait till 2022. Um... Let me know what you guys think down below. Are you bummed out? Do you not really care? Um, are you going to go check out those creators I told you about? Links in the description. Um, you know, let me know. Let's have a discussion. I think it sucks. I really, you know, I enjoyed the Star Wars stuff I did before. Remember, this channel was a Star Wars gaming news channel. And then, you know, we were peaking in like December and January and February when things were popping off and, you know, leaks were coming out and stuff like that. And then it just kind of went, you know, spiraled out. So... And I'm kind of glad, you know, I turned this channel to just gaming news overall because of situations like this. Um, so, you know, for you guys who are here, who, for who's new, who's been here through the Star Wars stuff and continue to stick around, I do appreciate you guys. Um, and as always, please, if you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up button, consider subscribing if you guys are new to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you guys never miss uploads. And as I said before, if you are new to the channel, let us know in the comments so we can welcome you to the community properly. Um, as always, my name is Ross, and I'll see you guys in the next video.